Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. guys, you want to come in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. We are back with some more tournament action. Tournament action here, guys. Gr uh, the uh, Total War League Siege Tournament hosted by Marketable Skills, who's actually here playing as our Verney. We are on the settlement of Pulpadiva, which I'm pretty sure the town settlement is right there that is some weird eyes but all right let's take a look at the attacking factions we'll start off here with our Verney being commanded by marketable skills he's also a twitch guy so i'll make sure to put his link for his twitch channel in the description below as well he has brought with him six units of chosen swordsmen four celtic warriors two levy freemen two osworn one of those being his general he also has a giant ballista one unit of heavy horse do not see those ninja hunters yet gallic hunters probably going to show up at some point here soon ish i would assume I would guess. Uh, then we do have a Sparta being commanded by Andrew02, and he has brought a strong force. Six units of Royal Spartans, three Spartan youths, generals or heroes of Sparta. He has three Cretan archers, one Gorgo skirmishers, and one unit of the Helot javelinmen. Ooh, we got some Sally out here. We got some Hillmen coming out. Let's take a look. Uh, we have a Parthia being commanded by Decibel, and he has brought six units of Parthian swordsmen, th five Hillmen, sorry, five Hillmen, one Eastern Spearmen. General is a Royal Cataphract. He also has one unit of the Sarmatian Lancers, three Parthian Foot Archers, one Eastern Slinger, and he did bring an Indian War Elephant right there. Ooh, man. And then we also have an Iceni being commanded by CI-94, and he has brought seven units of Swordband, four Chosen Swordband, two Heroic Nobles, one of those being his General, one Levy Freeman, and four units of the Britain Slingers. But all right, Hillman already coming out over here. Let's see what they did. Uh, they got a little bit of a javelin volley off. Okay, killed some Spartan youths. But now they're going to have to run for their lives because they got Levy Freeman and Celtic Warriors coming over here. This Levy Freeman unit is going to... I'm sorry. This uh, Hillman unit is not going to live very long at all. Javelin volley tossed by the Levy Freeman. They got a little bit in there. 45 kills. Not too bad. Uh, Celtic Warriors definitely going to come in here and just finish the rest of this Hillman unit off. So that's going to be pretty much the end of that unit. They are, they're going to die. They're definitely going to die. All right, we have Sparta inside the settlement already. He's got some of his Spartan youths grabbing up this front tower there. What do we have sitting over here? We have some of the Eastern Spearmen, Hillmen, and a Parthian Swordsman unit there. Outside of the settlement over here, Royal Cataphracts already showing themselves. We have another unit of Hillmen there going to support. And we have some Heavy Horse, an Osworn, and a Chosen Swordsman there. More walls getting ready to come down here. Big wall section getting ready to crumble. And there it goes. Wish you guys could have seen my face right there. That was a very weird way for that wall to fall down. Uh, but Levy Freeman have completed their goal. They are going to fall back. Probably going to grab up this tortoise as well and knock down that corner. I would assume that maybe they're going to try and maybe get around over here. But with that Royal Cataphract in the way, mm -mm -mm, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't go over there. I mean, I know he's got Heavy Horse there, but... Oh, wait. What's he doing? Royal Cataphract falling back a little bit? Eh, a little bit. A little bit. They're going to fall back just a bit there. Uh, the Sarmatian Lancers actually came out of that side gate back up over here. They came all the way around over here. And now they're just kind of sitting over there waiting for an opportunity to get some good kills. Sparta doing a pretty good job protecting his ranged units. We do have the one unit of the Javelin Men still way far over there. But all right, Arverni, yeah, look at this. They're just walking into the settlement. So the defenders not really caring very much about this front tower. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could defend it, but then you're running the risk of possible archers coming over here and just shooting you in the side right over the wall there like that. So, not entirely surprising that they're not holding it, but we may have... Ooh, we got some Spartan youths staring down some of the sword band here throwing javelins. Are we? Are they throwing javelins? Yeah, kind of late. There you go. Ooh, burning down. Again, Spartan youths don't really need to throw javelins at Spartan youths. I want to hold on to those for some bigger batter units, like maybe those Celtic Warriors there. Levy Freeman starting to move up on the side there. Looks like maybe they're going to get ready to throw their javelins as well. Oh, no, they have 62 kills. They might already be out of javelins possible. 
it is possible. Parthia now sending out another unit of Hillman here. Sparta holding the line. That unit of Spartan use did fall back. Anything coming over here? No, he actually chose to not knock down this wall here. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to become a... I uh, wonder if that's going to become a thing. A worry, if you will. Hey, guys. All right, coming back in here. Actually, the uh, game kind of crashed there. So, But we're back in pretty much where we had left off. Two. Swordband getting murdered down. Levy Freeman tossing the last couple of volleys of their javelins. But Spartan youths have pressed in onto this unit of Swordband. And I think... Ooh, are we going to have some javelins here from the hillmen? Let's see. Are they going to line up and fire? Nope, nope, nope. Eh, maybe. They might still be trying to line up here. Got some more. Levy Freeman coming in here. There you go. Some javelins in onto that Spartan Youth unit. And they, now the Levy Freeman are going to charge in as the Spartan Youths are getting ready to break. Do have some Celtic Warriors here. Look like they're going to try and play a little bit of an angle here, but I don't think they're going to get any really good shots, any good throws. Let's see, though. Oh, whoa, whoa. We got some arrows coming, though. Parthian Foot Archers here with 12 kills so far. Getting some good shots in onto this front line of the Arverni. Yeah, starting to drop down some of these Celtic Warriors here down to 141. So very well done so far. Uh, you can see that the Arverni force that had pressed up over here has now retreated back beating up with the rest of his line there anything really pressing over here no they are not pressing the side street up here towards the north if you will or towards the west i guess now that i'm looking at the map correctly uh so this is going to be their main attack second unit of sword man now coming down over here They're gonna line up maybe see about getting some javelin volleys there levy freeman did kind of skirt the corner of the line here trying to get around into these uh human there looks like they did get successful a little bit but unfortunately, they have broken away. Nice replacement here. Swordband moving in. Going to replace that initial unit of Swordband. Active. Pretty good kills. 105 kills with them. Very nicely done. About 80 men taken out of the unit. We have some more cycling here. The smaller unit of Celtic Warriors going to charge in here again. Allowing this first unit. Oh, wow. 98 guys. Wow. Oh, man. That is not good. Wavering Celtic Warriors with 98 men. But... They have charged in back again, but oh my god. Celtic Slingers and Parthian Foot Archers just lighting up this front line for Arverni. We do have a bit of a push coming through here, actually. Some of the Spartan youths leading the way. Chosen Swordsman for Arverni now going to make their way in here to this Eastern Spearman unit. Shouldn't last a whole lot of time, but we do have another unit, Parthian Swordsman, right behind that Eastern Spearman unit. we get some Javelin Valleys, but oh boy. Archer Fire now come. There they are. Those beautiful Gallic ninjas here, the Gallic Hunters, have shown up and they are going to start lighting up the front line here of the Iceni units. Ooh, boy. Swordband now making their way down. Another unit of Swordband going to come over here, try and continue to hold this front line. Sarmatian Lance is still way back over there. Did that general come back outside? He actually, I don't know if he went back in, but he is sitting outside here again. He is hidden so maybe he'll be able to get some good moves in there. Haven't seen the artillery fire just yet. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like he shot anything. Yeah, he doesn't have any kills yet. Wondering why he's not peppering up over here. I mean, all of this is visible. He could definitely be getting some shots at these uh, Britain Slingers. Wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe start trying to get rid of them. But again, archer fire coming in. We have the Cretan archers now for Sparta starting to annihilate the front line again. Getting some good shots into these hillmen, knocking them down so quickly so 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 quickly uh chosen swordsman still holding this front line doing a pretty good job i would say in this breach point back here see what else is going on so yeah they're really not pressing up over in this direction which i mean i don't disagree with completely if you can just if you can break through a one spot and at least have some units over here to watch your flank so it's probably what this celtic warrior unit is here for just in case anything from the defenders start coming out here but it does look like this is going to be their uh attempt at a push to get inside the settlement they're probably going to try and break through here because if they can get up this staircase and then form a nice Another nice little defensive line here. That'll cut a lot of Parthia off. That will have to force the Parthian forces to come all the way back around this way. 
to get back over here to help defend the town center. But again, another unit of sword band for Iceni coming down. I don't know how many he has lost already, but look at the positioning here. Ooh, the Cretan archers. I thought the Gallic hunters were firing, but the Cretan archers getting some fantastic side shots in onto the sword band, burning them down so, so quickly. Unfortunately, only 32 kills with that unit of sword band. 25 men retreating away. Do have the Eastern Spearmen still holding over here. Actually, good volleys coming from this Celtic warrior unit. And we do have a line of Royal Spartans now charging their way in. In onto the, some of this sword band here. And the Celtic warriors looks like they're going to try and start wrapping around into the back of that front line. And help try and knock some of that down. But more archer fire coming. We have another unit of the Parthian foot archers here. I believe that was that unit firing. It is. It is that unit. We do have some more of the Britain slingers here firing away in onto the flank of this Royal Spartan unit. But they do have their shield side here. So they're kind of firing in onto the shield side. A little bit of an off target there. Might not be a bad idea actually shoot into the back of this Celtic warrior unit with that, uh, with that slinger unit. But I mean the Royal Spartans actually did take a decent amount of losses. Almost 200 kills though. Wow. Very, very nicely done. Defenders reforming their line. Sword band there to hold again. Levy Freeman and a unit of Hillman still holding back these Celtic Warriors. Levy Freeman not holding very much longer, though. They are going to be on their way out. But Archer fire is all over the place, literally everywhere. I'm seeing arrows coming in, stones being thrown, everything. Amazing job so far here by the attackers. Amazing job so far by the defenders. If I didn't say this before, we have some very strong players on the battlefield. And oh, boy. Heavy horse coming in, chasing down the Royal Cataphract General. He did activate the Frenzied Charge, so they are going to uh, suffer a little bit of a debuff once that wears off. Good idea for them to run away, though, because these Hillmen... Oh, sorry, these Parthian Swordsmen here definitely still have Javelins, so that probably would have been a pretty big loss on the Heavy Horse side had they tried to continue chasing down that Cataphract General. But Parthia has retreated his General back inside the safety of the walls. Not a bad idea. Now, over here... See, this is starting to look a little bad. I would still stick a unit over here. Abs for, for no other reason, maybe a unit of the Royal Spartans just right there. Put them in hoplite walls just so they're over there to, de to defend this flank. Just in case anything decides to come down here. Maybe this unit of Chosen Swordsmen are going to move over there. But I did just see an artillery shot come in here. Getting some good shots in onto these Britain Slingers. Let's see how many kills. 60 kills for that unit. 21 there. Let's see what the Ballista is at. He just fired another volley, 70 kills, just getting in here as another shot lands, rips through some more of these Parthian swordsmen, killed 11, oh more, 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 oh my god, 27 on that one volley, get out of here, 102 kills now with that ballista, great job there, defenders still holding pretty good. I see he bringing up some of his tougher units now, we have a unit of chosen sword band and they are going to get a miraculous charge. Fantastic charge in onto the side of this Celtic Warrior unit. Very, very nicely done there by Iceni. Very, very nicely done. shot right there just stabbed him right through the stomach that's going to be the end of your life right there bud but look at this oh i thought the archers were using the gatehouse i was going to say ooh, but yeah cretan archers here 108 kills this unit there 38 and 41 so they definitely still have a decent amount of ammo left gallic hunters here now starting to unload let's see 59 and 29 kills for them continuing to just skewer this front line of iceni Chosen Sword Band are going to be able to hold up just a little bit more, but this Sword Band unit on their way out. Again, 110 kills, though. Again, very well done with the uh, regular Sword Band there. You don't usually see them get a ton, 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 ton of kills. Kind of interested to see the ending army compositions. We'll see how well they actually could, perf could uh, perform as an entire, the entirety of his uh, Sword Band, I should say. But I've, oh, our Verney, good move there. Getting into the back of this Parthian Swordsman unit as they were already entangled with the unit of Royal Spartans. That unit is going to be gone. Uh-oh. 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 Parthian Sarmatian Lancers hitting the gap. Oh, no. Arverni. This is going to be bad. 
Oswan General kind of reacting. We actually have the Heroes of Sparta General going to follow back. There you go. Catching that Martian. Woo. Catting, catching the Sarmatian Lancers out. Wow, what a collapse there. Very well done. I wonder if that was a bait. I wonder if that was a bait with the archers right there and the general in the perfect position, the Spartan general right there. Great job with him to reverse field, come back in there and just stop them, stop that Sarmatian Lancer unit from getting good, really good kills. Gallic Hunters did take some damage. How many kills did they get? 36. Actually, not terrible at all. Do have the heavy horse now swinging his way over here for the Arverni. Uh, here comes, ooh, Cataphract General's back outside again. He is outside. They're very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. I actually want to also keep an eye. We do have the chariots there. We do have the Indian war elephants over there. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm seeing where the big baddies are at. And I'm counting the big baddies as the cataphracts, the chariots, and the uh, elephants, of course. But all right, we have some Mycenae slingers now actually coming down. Britain slingers, 99 kills, charging on down into the battle. Going to continue trying to hold and fight this front line. Chosen sword band, 66 kills, but they are fighting some very, very strong opponents. We have two units of Royal Spartans, another unit of Royal Spartans there. And yep, what I thought he was going to do, thought Sparta was going to bring a unit over here just to continue watching over there. Smart move. Definitely a very smart move. Uh, the archers for the attack are still just unloading in here on the front line. Let's see how the defending ranged units are doing. 55 for this Parthian foot archer still firing away. Slingers here, 67 and 10. Where are the rest of the archers there? 25 for that unit here. This unit over here, 72. So, so far, so good. This unit back here, 136 kills. Very nicely done. He did bring them back to the town center. Usually a very smart move for the defenders to do, especially with archers out of ammunition. But all right, Spartans over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this Royal Spartan unit kind of facing in a really weird way. This is some good kills for the defenders, and he is taking it. Oh, yeah, Eastern Slingers blasting into this Royal Spartan unit. That is not good. Dropping men pretty much quick, quick, quick. Every time I snap my fingers, another Royal Spartan falls down. Now we have the, the uh, Parthian foot archers again firing away on this front line. Arverni having a very difficult time. 134 kills, though, with that unit. They are on their way out, though, down to 22 men. I think that Royal Spartan coming in kind of helped their morale there for just one second. Back over to here, though, we have some more Chosen Swordsmen getting a good rear charge in onto the back of this Parthian Swordsman unit, stuck with a unit of Royal Spartans. So that is definitely going to be a lost unit of, Royal, of uh, Parthian Swordsmen. But look at this. Hillman coming in, getting a sneaky javelin volley in onto the back of that Chosen Swordsman unit. Very, very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. Let's see Ack out here again. Where'd that general go? Oh, he brought him back inside again. Okay, Sarmatian Lancers are still outside. Maybe looking for an opportunity, but with that heavy horse sitting right there, I don't think the Sarmatian Lancer is going to have a whole lot of opportunities. Let's see, though. Towers are firing at him. Yeah, they're just going to get shot down. Mm, I think he's, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I would just leave them there to die. I think I would continue moving them or at least try and maybe get some sort of a charge. Maybe charge into the general just to try and do some sort of damage. I mean, it is a medium shot cavalry. They can still do some good. They have a 51 charge bonus. But it does look like that unit is just going to sit there and, uh, yeah, just accept a whole lot of arrows from the archer tower. And there they go, wavering away. Very unfortunate there. But back inside here are Verney and Sparta really starting to take over this front part of the settlement. We actually have the Cataphract General. What did he even charge into? I don't know. I think he might have charged into that Royal Spartan unit, but he did not get that good of a charge. 114 charge with that trample activated. Mm. Taking some losses. Taking some losses. 13 men dead. Only 11 kills. That is not a good ratio there. And the Cretan archers are making and pay for it. I think the Gallic Hunters might be firing here as well. Yeah, they are. Gallic Hunters again firing into the front line, getting some really good kills. Oh my god. Is that just Hillman though? Yeah, it's just Hillman, but still, sometimes kills are kills. But again, I don't think I'd be wasting ammunition on Hillman. This is Chosen Swordsman right there. They can easily rip through this Hillman unit. Easily rip through it. But look at this. I see him pressing up some of his slingers. And he's firing. Yeah, good job. Finding the backs of another unit of Chosen Swordsmen. Very, very well done. Killed only 11 of them so far. But these boys are definitely helping knocking down that armor. Knocking down that uh, HP value for that unit as well. Give some chase. Going to give some chase. Hopefully they don't chase too far though. Eastern Slingers here. Oh boy, here comes that general again. 
Is he about to smash him some Chosen Swordsman? I think that's his think that's his thought of doing that, but the Chosen Swordsman have stopped reversed field. They are going to get shot in the back, though, by the Parthian Foot Archers as they're retreating away, and the General, yeah. General is going to fall back. Not a bad idea. We did see the Chosen Swordsman just slip right into their shield wall there. We're going to try and defend against any sort of a charge, but again, turning and reversing field. Parth the, I'm sorry, these are Eastern Slingers, not Parthian Foot Archers. Getting some really good shots in onto those Chosen Swordsmen as they're running away. All right, so we do have a bit of an advance here on the staircase. We have some Chosen Swordsmen taking on some Chosen Sword Band. Pretty good fight there, but the attackers will have the assistance of the towers here. They took over the gate. Oh, boy. That's going to be a, that's going to make it a little bit difficult for the defenders to hold anything in this area. You can see the uh, Parthian Swordsmen have fallen back. Slingers have fallen back as well, so it does look like this final unit of Chosen Sword and Band will be holding this staircase before the floodgates open up even more. Armies for the attackers making their way in. Let's see what the Arverni artillery ended with. The 195 kills. Wow. Very, very nicely done there. We do have the Heavy Horse still rumbling around outside. Gorgo Skirmishers and the Hell of Javelin men coming in last. Now, a lot of people don't use the Gorgo Skirmishers. I have, actually, I haven't seen them use, been used a lot. Uh, as far as Sparta, but I mean, range 150, missile damage is 23, but they have that quick reload right there. That's actually really good, and I don't think the Gorgo Skirmishers are that expensive. I really don't think they're very, very, very expensive. They're a good slinger unit, so, and you can take six of them. They have a max of six, at least in campaigns. They're, oh, now I'm not entirely sure. I gotta remember back to playing Sparta. You can, I think they have a set number, though, that you can take of them, but uh, they are really good. They are pretty solid. I would definitely say they're pretty solid. Maybe not really good. They are pretty solid. Uh, but we do have Osworn up on the front line here, along with a unit of Chosen Swordsmen going to continue charging into the next line there. Look at that sky. Look at that sky right there, right over the top of this infantry. Javelins being thrown in there. More javelins coming in. I think we have some stones now coming in. Ooh, good, mean response there from the Chosen Swordsmen. Britain Slingers are still firing away, 80 and 33, but here comes the Chosen Swordsman, going to charge in onto this front line. This still is Chosen Swordman. Okay, so where's his Heroic Nobles? He's got one there, and his General's right there. Okay, definitely got to keep an eye on them, see how nasty they can be. Heroic Nobles are very, very strong. I think I think Osworn personally are stronger than Heroic Nobles, but uh, I don't know, maybe that'll be a 1v1 at some point. We'll have to see. Hopefully again... Hopefully you guys have been also enjoying the 1v1 tournament series thing that I've been doing. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done the last one. I think the last one was a few days ago. So be sure to check that out on the channel as well. All right, let's get into some more of this brutal fighting, barbarian fighting here. God, the amount of projectiles that are coming across here. Are these Britain Slingers are still firing. Oh, this maybe these guys are newer units? Where's the other units of Britain Slingers? Oh, they're dead. So these are the uh, okay, so these are his two units of Britain Slingers right there. The final two units that he has. 51 kills. This unit actually charging in. Oh my god, they're out of ammo. 99 kills, not terrible. Not terrible at all, but this front line trying desperately to hold on. Osworn getting involved though. 61 men left the unit, only 56 kills. Ooh, I wonder if that chosen swordman unit had turned. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. They got swordman right there, another volley into that Osworn. Wow, they are getting dropped so quickly. Only 57, oh, 70 kills, 51 men. Sorry, I was reading that wrong. But here we go, Royal Spartans now charging in here. One unit has made their way in. We have another unit kind of just hanging back here, waiting for their opportunity, waiting for their call to charge in onto that front line as well. Heavy Horse have made their way in. Iceni actually uh, kind of solidified this staircase for the moment. Heavy Horse would be able to try and take out anything that's coming from this direction, though we know, as we can see from the defenders, that this chariot could come around over here and cause some pretty solid damage to that Heavy Horse, but chariots more than likely will not be coming around the corner as the skirmishers are right there. We all know javelins, javelins kill chariots. If you guys didn't know that, now you do. But all right, back over here, Sparta actually moving some more units around. He's got a unit of Spartan youths, probably going to just come over here and scout the area. 
This unit, yeah, there they go. Now they can see the Sword Baron unit. Not too bad. Uh, what do we have here? What was that? Oh, I think that's the Gallic Hunters. Is that the Gallic Hunters? It is. Gallic Hunters making their way around over here. They are slightly defended. I mean, this Royal Spartan unit is here. I wonder how f how long it would take to get up over there, though. Do have the Parthian General, Royal Counterfract General, starting to swing his way back around over here. Did see a 69 giggity. You win. Okay. That bringer sli that Britain Slinger unit here with 69 kills. Not too bad. Where are the ranged air there? Okay, so here's the Cretan archers for Sparta, and we do see Gallic Hunters coming around over here. Ooh, buddy. And he's going to form him up here. Okay. He's going to put him in there to be able to fire across these buildings. Try and get some good shots in onto this front line. Should be able to get some really good kills on what's left here. Chosen sword band, chosen sword band, and the sword band there. But oh boy, Osworn on their way out. 16 men left in the unit, 122 kills. But they have been taken out. Second unit of Royal Spartans have moved their way up. Here comes another small unit of Royal Spartans. 173 kills for them. Not terrible at all. So the Spartan youths are going to be responsible to try and block this. And I actually like what Arverni's doing here. Look at this. Taking his ballista crew, walking it around the towers, walking it around the walls, and just capturing these up. I like that move. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. It's good. Good job there with the uh, most strongest army, uh, most strongest unit on the battlefield. The uh, ballista crew, of course. Of course. But all right, back over here. Let's see. Heavy horse kind of still just hanging out. Actually, wait a second. Our Verney fell back from this staircase. He had it kind of locked down there. But if they did fall further in here, ooh, heavy horse starting to get shot. Got some Parthian foot archers there, getting some good shots there. Cataphract General starting to swing around here again. Now, he can't, well, I mean, he can. He could come outside of the settlement and come back in, but he's not going to be able to come through the gate. The gate wasn't knocked down, so he would have to use this breach point there to come back through it. He would definitely take some losses, or at least some shots from the uh, archer tower. He's already down to 64, so he's already taken some damage. All right, back over here in the center. Look at how effective the attackers are being right now. My God. Chosen Swordsman finding a massive gap in the front line, getting in there, slaughtering down the rest of this Britain Slinger unit. 109 kills for them. Archers for the attackers still volleying. Very nicely done over here by Arverni with his Gallic Hunters here. Looks like he's only got three of them, unless he's maybe got one more that's just really hiding somewhere. But yeah, these Arverni archers... Starting to get some good shots that kind of... Actually, no, they're firing right into the back of this sword band. Very nicely done, yet again. Very, very nicely done. Parthia is starting to creep around the flanks over here. Got the Gorgo skirmishers there, and oh boy, the general's on the move. The general is going to try and... He's going to try and sneak around here to maybe get that way, but nope. I bet... Is he going to fall back? I hope he falls back. No, he's still going. He's still going to go... He's kind of smashing into that front line of the Chosen Swordsman. Unfortunately, though, they are in a shield wall. So that charge is going to be stopped. He did hit the trample. Usually, wouldn't you want to hit the trample on the way in, though? Doesn't that rate? Yeah, it really raises up their charge bonus. Very unfortunate. But he's losing more of his general there. But here come the chariots of Iceni. 900 gold chariots. Or 900 denarii chariots. These guys can cause massive amounts of damage. Hopefully, we'll see. Here they come up the stairs, and oh no, they're going to get into a bunch of Cretan archers. 64, 175, so I'm guessing that at least that unit is out of ammo, but these chariots are about to start causing some serious damage back here. Creeping up to 100 kills already, over 100 kills, on his way to 150. Do the unit of Royal Spartans that are charging in, though. Chariots are making their way back down off the staircase there. And looks like they're going to maybe try and come this way. Maybe they're going to come up the road that way. It's possible. He is getting a lot of them out, though. He only lost one chariot so far. Back over here in the middle, the Cataphract General making his way back around here again. Just gave himself that second wind. So he's going to be able to uh, continue moving on. Oswan General now falling back as well for Arverni. Going to protect that staircase, I wonder. Chariots are retreating away, though. How many did they end up losing? They only lost the one chariot. One chariot. One chariot. Not bad. All right, back over here. Oh, heavy horse. Good charge onto some hillmen. I mean, eh, it's hillmen, but still, it's a nice charge. Very nicely done there. Gallic Hunters coming around over here, starting to surround the defenders. 
Parthian Foot Archers here, 139 kills. Two units of Gallic Hunters going to be taking them on. Let's see what the armor is. Yeah, Parthian Foot Archers are 10, and the Arverni Gallic Hunters are both armor is 10 as well. Actually, let's see what the attacks are real fast. I've never actually looked at this. Uh, 1724 and 924. So actually, Gallic Hunters should win that fight. Oh, unless the uh, unless the Royal Cataphract General comes over. Oh, no, the Elephants. Or the Elephants comes over here. That could be bad, too. Uh, that could be really bad for Archer's Health. Really, really, really could be bad for the Archer's Health. Uh, the Chariots have come back, but let's get in here. Elephants just charging in there. Slamming into these Calic Hunters. Yeah, they're both dead. Oh, my God. Look at how fast those numbers are dropping. Jesus. Almost 100 kills. Just ticked over 100 kills for these Indian War Elephants. They are just starting to get warmed up. Speaking of warmed up, here comes the Chariots. The Cataphract General went in with another charge. But now the Chariots coming around. What is he going to try and do here? Looks like he's just going to try and maul his way through here. Sorry about that. Looks like he's going to just try and maul his way through this front line of Sparta. Nice charge in onto those boys. Now coming back in onto the back of these Spartan youths. Very nicely done. We have the Heroic Nobles General holding the front line against the Osworn General. Ooh, man, that is a fight. Actually, no, we have some Parthian troops up here. What is this? Parthian Swordsman. Where is that? Yeah, I don't even see that unit flag. Where is that banner? I do not know. I do not know. But the chariot's coming around this way. And oh, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. These chariots are going to get so many kills. Here they come. He's going to wrap around over here. This is going to be nasty. There's no available infantry for Sparta or Arverni. I'm actually just noticing that Arverni's pretty much out of the fight. Chariots, keep it going, bud. Come on, get around. Oh, we're going to see some beautiful kills. Let's get in on this. Inf on this. No, 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 not that button. Go over here, get on this unit. There we go. In onto the chariots as they charge right into the back of all of these range units of Sparta. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Got to keep going. There you go. Ripping through these lines. Ripping through these lines. What's he up to now? 370. Oh, 400 kills. Wow. Just ripped apart so much there. And now we have the elephants coming in from the other side. What a good bit of teamwork there for the defenders. That chariot unit just slaughtered so many men. The elephants coming in on the other side. Going to charge in onto the Osworn. Osworn are in shield wall, though. They did just activate their uh, headhunt, but that chariot unit, wow. 462 kills. Very nicely done. The elephants are going to continue pressing on through here. I don't really think... Yeah, I think this... I don't know. I mean, the Cataphract General actually just came in again with another charge. He's only up to 65 kills, but the elephants now coming back crushing into the back of this Heroes of Sparta unit. Wow. Oh, no, they're making their way over here now. I, how did this... There was no javelins. There was no javelins. There was no ammo. Oh, elephants cleaning up over here now. 206 kills. They have a chance. Maybe get to like 300. That's possible. It is definitely possible. Here comes the Cataphract General now. We have an elephant actually stuck in melee over here. But the Cataphract General coming around, and I think I know exactly where he's going. I think he's just going to reverse field and charge back that way. No. Oh, no. He's coming in to clean up the rest of these guys. Okay. Easy kills for the Parthian general. Elephants. Let the elephants continue uh, walking around. 250 for them. And if they charge in out to the back of this Osworn and Spartan general, 62, 52, they could definitely get over 300 kills. Looks like they are making their way there. It's Osworn turning around. Still, this elephant's still stuck in melee there. But, yeah, that is going to be the final bit right there elephants getting in onto the back of the heroes of sparta general and the osworn general elephants now let's see what they're at 278 they're going to come back over here crush into some more of these royal spartans another 80 men right there oh no they're coming back for the general they just reverse field back to the general again wow what's he at 293 come on get seven more kills get over 300 there you go. Arverni General now being wiped off. 13 seconds left. Parthian General over here, 140 kills, enjoying himself. Some uh, archers, but there you go. Successful defense. Wow, what a battle. What a battle. That was really good. That was a very well-played battle. Costly victory. Let's take a look at the numbers.
Actually, even look at that. Look how close these numbers are. All right, let's take a look. Battle was sent in by Icini. Uh, a CI-94 here. Let's take a look at his kills. He ended with 2,093 kills. 81 with his general. That chariot, though, 464. And that chariot's set up for the elephants. That's what that was. The chariot's coming around, getting into the back of the rest of the Spartan um, Spartan range units. I almost said artillery. The rest of the Spartan range units, killing them off and really just throwing off of that whole back line there. Very nice, very nice teamwork. Very nicely done there with the chariots. Uh, 100, 109 on his slingers. Getting into his chosen sword band, 190, 110, 117, 206 on a heroic noble. Sword band, 110, 119. So some of them doing okay. The other ones, well, 83. But yeah, a lot of them not really faring very well. 30, 33. So yeah, some of them not doing good. But we do have Decibel here with Parthia, 1984, 140 with his general, 321 with the elephants. Very well done. Sarmatian Lancers, unfortunately, only 36. Great move by uh, Arverni and Sparta there. I think that was a bait for that Sarmatian Lancer unit. So great job there by the attackers. Uh, Eastern Slingers here, 130, 131, 141, I'm sorry, 144, 177, and 131 for the Parthian Foot Archers. Hillman, 89. Uh, Parthian Swordsman, 124, 176. So two out of the six of them doing really well. The other, Actually, no, we have a 94 there as well. So three out of the six did pretty good, or pretty well, I should say. Uh, then we get into marketable skills here with our Verney, 2,172 kills, 154 with his general. Again, the Ballista, 190 kills before they came inside. Very nicely done. Uh, Heavy Horse, unfortunately, only 88 kills. Gallic Hunters, they were getting some good shots, just not really, really showing very much in their numbers here. Uh, Celtic Warriors, 194, 147, 160. Chosen Swordsman, 118, 137, 181. And his other Osborn there with 122. And then we have Andrew, 02 with Sparta, 1975. 234 with his general. Archers, one unit there, 182. Fortunately, they have the rest, I mean, 89, but the rest of them really did not do as well as they should have. These Cretan archers probably got, probably should have gotten over 100 kills as well. Uh, but his Royal Spartan Force, 276, 225, 291, 150, 166, 164. Very nicely done with the Royal Spartans. Top unit there for his Spartan use was 40. But all right, guys, there you go. End of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like the video, share it around, drop a comment down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you like Total War content, definitely hammer that subscribe button, guys. Trying to hit that 10K goal. Just getting close to 8,500 subscribers. Come on, guys. Let's go. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.